Hello everyone and welcome to Thursday night at the Art House Studio. My name is Karen Ellis and um, as true to what I do here in the studio, nothing is planned, nothing is scripted, everything is in real time because Lord I like to test myself I guess. But I am here with Lee and Cass. Say hi guys. Hi. Hi. And the studio is open and this is a working studio uh, with a retail store of course so there's things going on here all the time and I am a brother dealer and I'm excited because new machines are coming out because remember I was in Nashville a couple weeks ago well they launched all their new machines and they're slowly releasing them to the public and this is one of them this is brothers new Innovis 990d it's an embroidery and sewing machine and it came and I am so happy to play and I just thought that I would play with you guys today because I'm I'm a beginner embroiderer this whole sewing thing is new to me. Taking what I do and create and go from there is all new to me. So um, if I can have a chance, I will play and do as you know. So I have been playing around a little bit today with Lee and Cass here. I made my name. How fun is that? Um, we get a Mickey Mouse because Brother and Disney have uh, patent agreements going on there. And I made one for Lee. We are playing with size. Lee. <laughs> so good. So I thought I would uh, show you what I've got going here and we can play around and perhaps I will send a little embroidered something to somebody and you know, we'll go from there. Yeah, uh-oh. Every time the phone rings, oh, okay. That's okay, Dixie, we'll be, we'll be around. It's all good. <laughs> Whoops, I just dropped my stylus tool here. So. I do have the embroidery. I'm just gonna move this back just a touch. So hopefully you can see the whole thing. I do have the embroidery attachment on it. There is, I'm just gonna pull it out here. I've got a little latch so you can see it does come apart and a table will go in for the sewing features. But as I say, we're gonna use the embroidery today. So I'm just gonna put that back in. We're all ready to go. It comes with this five by seven hoop here. Hello, hoop. And I am going to go ahead, I'm gonna push this machine back just a little. And put in some stabilizer. And I'm just using muslin because I'm goofing around. All right. So the one thing that I have learned in my short embroidery time is to always use stabilizer. So I'm putting some, this is some tearaway stabilizer. This is from Sulky, but it'll, any I think brand will work. Then I'll put on some of my muslin that I have here at the studio. What? And then I'm gonna hoop it. Pushing it into the hoop. I can't see it. I can't do it when it's in the air. Sorry guys, gotta go on the table. There we are. Just gonna pull out the muslin so that it's tight. Does it take a USB? It most certainly does, my love. In fact, Lee was here today. We, um, I, I wanted to have a little heart to embroider for a cosplay that I'm creating. That's a whole other story. And um, one of my friends emailed me an embroidery pattern that she had. I put it on my USB stick and then I embroidered it with the machine. And Lee was like, oh my God, I can't believe you just did that. Yeah. All right, so here's the hoop. I'm gonna pull the machine in a little bit and move this back in so that you can see everything hopefully, okay? Mm -hmm. It's cool. Very cool. So I'm just going to guide the hoop underneath the needle. Oh, so carefully. It does have two, for the lack of a better word, knobs. Be a knob. <laughs> two knobs at the side of the hoop that fit perfectly into the side casing here. And I'm going to put that in. And now that I'm being recorded, <laughs> so look, but it's nice and secure. You hear the pop, it's all good. Well, pop is not probably the correct term I should use while using this, but you'll hear it snap into place. There you go. 
<laughs> All right. So this is the home screen. You see that? Oh, cool, cool. And we can go from doing one of the 70 program files that are in here. So this is one and two of 70. It's a little bit hard to see on the screen, and I apologize. I won't, I'm going to skip through this real quick, but you can just press through all of the programs, programmed ones that are in here, just by the left and right arrows that I realize you can't see because it's too dark, that are beside the screen here, the LCD screen, and select which one you want to do and go from there. This is saying here that there's eight colors and um, it's one through eight. The first one is mint green and then we can go on. And you can adjust the size and the layout accordingly as you like in these settings in here. But I'm not going to do that because I don't want to do one for you today that has like eight colors in it because that is a little retarded. <laughs> because all we will be doing is watching this machine embroider itself. <laughs> right? Because it's a great machine. Anyway, I love these things. All right, so I thought maybe we could do a little Disney. We're going to go into Disney. The Disney features you cannot edit. So you don't have a choice from what I can see and understand. I know you can't add or edit to it because it is a trademarked thing. And of course, anything you make with Disney, as is any licensed material, please remember this is for your own personal use or to give away. These are not to be resold. But Brother does have the rights to the embroidery patterns for this and this is why they're included and there's um i can't remember how many disney patterns are included in this but there's quite a few and you have a choice between mickeys and pooh bears oh. <laughs> but we'll stick with the mickeys just because so here's mickey and there's 26 mickeys and minis and whatever okay <laughs> looks like pretty florals yes there's pretty florals so you can pick go through the screens and pick what you want to do. Um, I'm looking for something that's small. I like this little guy with the with Mickey and Minnie kissing. There are two colors in this. Maybe I could do that. I could do a two color. Two color. Let's see how big it is because remember I can't adjust the size of this. So I'm clicking on something called layout and I know you can't really see it here but it says layout. And the size is listed on the LCD screen right over here. And this says uh, 1.87 inches tall and 2.61 inches wide. That might be okay. Might not take too long. Shall we try it? Okay. I do have pink in here. Let's move it out and we'll, we'll put some red embroidery floss in the machine. red where's my red here's my red and I will move this up so hopefully you can see it there we go oh, maybe too much okay so I'll put my thread in and I am going to thread it and if you have used a brother machine before, I'm sorry, I'm kind of, it's really awkward with the camera in front of my face. <laughs> but if you've used a brother machine, you've threaded a brother machine, then you know how to thread this one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, cut the thread, eight, and nine is put it through. And you didn't see the last little bit, but it is threaded. I'm just gonna. It threads itself. It threads itself. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. I know. Okay. So I'm just gonna go. Ahead. I'm gonna go back because I don't need to change anything here. I'm gonna keep it so that it's centered into my hoop. I could move it by there. See these arrows here? This will move the image in my hoop if I wanted to. I don't really need to. So we're good with that. So I'm gonna go back. Say I'm in, I'm in color one of two. The color is red. I'm going to lower my foot and press the happy green button. Play. And this is going to do all the little red bits. Having said that, I know I'm going to need black in a minute. Where did I put my black? 
Isn't that pretty? It's doing it for me. You see it? Here we go. Lululu. What can I do with all these little embroidered Mickey and Minis? <laughs> Fabulous. Thank you, Kathy. Switch, 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 switch. See if I can move that down for you to see. Plop, 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 plop. So in the end, I will have to um, do a little bit of snipping to uh, to get the little pieces that are joining here, but that's not a big whoop. Snip, snip, barber trick. Snippity, snip, barber trick. What? I'm not quite sure. <laughs> I think that's Mickey's pants, Minnie's little skirt, her hair tie, a heart that's going to be between them. They would be so cute on baby bibs. You're right. Oh my gosh, you're so right. All right, so now that is done. Yes, indeedly doodly, that is done. And I'm just going to make sure, I think I've got it where it cuts it. Yeah, it cut. Yes, that would be the scissor button for when you yeah. sew. <laughs> but I think it did it anyway for the embroidery, but I just kind of made sure. So I'm just going to take out the red thread and I am going to thread the black. And so you saw me do the top part of the red. And then you didn't see the how it threaded later, so I guess I will keep the camera the way it is and do the reverse for you. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then ding, nine. Done. Whoop. But I always like to cut the little bits that's back here as long as you don't bend the needle you're good to go right because that way I don't want to I don't want that thread to still be sticking up when the embroidery starts and that's just me because I don't know embroidery well and so that's me saying that's what I'm saying <laughs> fresh go two of two for the color the color is black black thread is in the machine go and that ladies is all there is to it Hello, Linda. Nice to see you. So this is cool. I can't wait to see what this comes out like. Every, every one we do today has been like this little new adventure. <laughs> well, it has. It's been a little new adventure. So we're saying we should probably do it on some fleece backing too. And well, you know, on, you know, not on muslin would be nice. <laughs> but for just trying it out and seeing what we can do with the machine, it's kind of fun. Because I think maybe I'll try to put a name underneath there. What do you think? Yeah. See if I can't get that to go. It's fun to see the needle go up and down in the screen because, of course, it doesn't do every needle pop. It just does, like, every third. <laughs> I miss a navler. Yippee, it's sewing. I know, I need to sew more often, but it's unfortunate. I don't, I need to figure out. It's hard to stream and sew. Yes. But, um, well, it's hard to sew and record it without a professional setup, period, right? So I don't think this is going to take, look at Mickey. He's adorable. Wait till you see him finish, girls. You think it's great to have samples in the machine on different fabrics? It, I, I, I'm with you. I'm with you, Eileen. And Linda says sewing um, is uh, with a machine is her zen. Very good. I did not know that about you girls. So, but even on this muslin, because we stabilized it, like it's pretty good. 
like it stayed it stayed on the top right you can see how it's embroidered nicely on top tightly on muslin I think that's saying something I think that's saying something I certainly couldn't embroider that but we won't go there because I'm a newbie a newbie embroiderer <laughs> You are mystery girls, you so are. <laughs> I might just keep this in the hoop. Are you guys okay? Can you kind of see how it's coming together? Eileen has super spy skills, I gotcha. <laughs> you want this one, Kathy? Oh, now it's got to write Disney's name. Mr. Disney has to be on there. Thank you, Mr. Disney. There we go. Hmm. I'm just trying to think. Does anybody know anybody that could use a little swatch of something for a young person? I don't either. There's no little babies in my world right now. <laughs> um. Oh, heck. It says finish sewing. I'm going to say yes. And I'm going to move this over. And I am going to touch the return key and cancel the pattern because I am done with that. It turned out really super cute, really sketchy. I love it. And um, I'm going to get out of the Disney just by pressing the return button. And I am going to go into the fonts. And what do I want to do? Um, trying to think which one. I'm going to go. I've not done an outline block yet, though. Let's do that. We're, we're, we're trizing the new machine. So I am going to say with a, I just want a small font so I'm selecting small there's capital and and small letters here as well and you switch between the alphabets because this goes to N there's arrows on the side that you switch to get to the other letters are the patterns loaded in the machine yes they are Linda I'm not doing anything outside the machine today well right now <laughs> so I'm gonna take a capital K and then I'm gonna switch to a lowercase a Is that red and red? R E N Karen. Okay. And then I'm going to select the adjust. All right, and go to layout. And I can see it kind of sort of there. You can't, the screen is a little too small to see, but I can see where the placement is. I am going to move it with the arrows. I'm going to move it down. To about there and I can see where the needle is I think it'll be fine and I am going to press I'm going to press the lovely little green button and outline my name in the black because I'm not going to switch the the thread out for this so right now I have moved it down an inch and a half approximately should be good I haven't moved it over side to side so it still should be centered the centering is at zero I'm going to press a fancy green play button and see what it looks like when you outline your name. I'm centered according to the middle of the hoop. So remember I said I didn't like little tails sticking out too much? Well, guess what I didn't cut? <laughs> I have my tail. Hello, Patricia. Patricia's here. She's wanting her stencils. <laughs> <laughs> so actually, this is kind of fun. So I have a little itty bitty KA. All right, that is kind of cute. Now it should like it says I didn't um, I didn't center it. I guess it is. The R would be the middle, and that looks pretty middle. Yay! Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. 
green for go. Yes, green for go. It's the magic green button. <laughs> as long as that button is green, all is well in the sewing world. <laughs> when it turns not so green and it's red means stop, it's telling you, you did something silly. <laughs> Time to go fix your silliness. <laughs> What are, um, sorry, are the pattern, yeah, I answered that question already, sorry. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's pretty fun. Okay, that's pretty fun. I can't wait to show you guys. Okay. All right. So, look, it stopped. The button went red. I'm going to say, okay, we're done button went green because I could start something else now if I want but right now I'm going to lift the foot and I know you can't see this I'm just going to move it over a little bit there is a little button on the top of the ah! I dropped the stylus tool I, the one thing I the dislike these the there's one right here I think but you know whatever <laughs> you just push that down and carefully lift your hoop and I say that carefully without prying it open and slip it through. Look. Isn't that fun? Oh my gosh. So I'm just going to take my little snippy snips, as my daughter would call them, snippy snips, and snip the little. What are they called? Like joining threads? Wah, wah. I love, this song haunts my dreams. It's a nice song. I like this song. It's just, they did this for um, band comp, my daughter and her, uh, her band. So I hear it everywhere. Every day I hear this song. And I had to hear them practicing. And <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just doing my snippy snips. Snippy snip. Snippy snip in the small font is a little tricky, but you know, whatever. I'm not gonna. And it's hard to do in the screen. When I'm tired, like I've been tired the yeah. last couple of days, nothing really comes to mind. Yeah, tonight I just love it doing that. Yeah. Sometimes you skip days to get finished. Snippy snip. Sometimes I can find like I can just rip them off. Right? Mm -hmm. okay. Isn't that sweet? All right, I'm gonna have to do one for one of you guys. Maybe we'll pick another, another um, pattern though. Gotta cut Mr. Disney. Lee's here doodling away in case you guys haven't caught that. Yeah, my shaving like is not the greatest yet, but I'm working on it. I mean, I just put those in there. There we go. Plop, plop. I have a little bit of closer snipping to do, but you guys get the idea, and I don't want to just, I don't want to do that anymore. So fun. It's totally cute and adorable. <laughs> now I got to find a kid named Karen <laughs> to do that for. But I think it's cute. Awesome. So yeah, easy peasy. I've been having a lot of fun with this little guy today and um, I can't wait to start stitching with it. As I say, this has got the embroidery bit in, so that's what was showing on the screen. But I'll just give you a quick go through before I turn off the recording so that you can really see it. You see the screen now? So if you click the return button, then you can see my name. And I'm going to delete the pattern. So these are the things that are already programmed into the machine. Uh, sorry, your um, foster son and his girl are having a boy in October, and you're totally going over the possibilities of this machine. I am here, you. 
to amazing possibilities. And like, how easy was that? Like, unbelievable. So here's what the preset things are. They are difficult to see. Um, however, it does come with a book with a color version of every single one of these that are in there. So all 70 of these, you can see what they're going to look like. This is really difficult to get an idea. Um, there's a rose, there's a dove, and you know, you, you know what I mean? Um, when you go up in the models and you go up in the features, you will have like really great graphic icons and full color. And the dream machine that's coming out, I swear, has a 10 inch um, LCD screen attached to it. It is the size of your tablet, ladies. Like it's unbelievable, this thing. And you can see exactly the size and all the color and everything in here. But for the machine, this is, um, um, I think, it, what did I say it was 1100 list? for this one for a sewing and intro embroidery and a sewing machine combination. Um, awesome machine though, like I'm really loving this. This is really easy to use. Nice and sturdy. Anyway, I just lost my pointer, but you get that. So then I'm going to the fonts and you saw the fonts. Those are the ones that are put in. Okay, and then, um, then you have your frames so that you can select whatever frame that you'd like. For those of you who do embroidery, you understand what I'm saying with that. So you can select your frame and go from there. Okay, and here's the Disney. Thank you, Kathy. So again, we had Mickey. So you can see the Mickeys that are here. This one here, I remember you cannot resize these uh, because they are trademarked, copyrighted, <laughs> licensed, whatever. But that's this size here. It's almost four by four is this Mickey. Okay, and then I will show you the one I did for Lee. So you've got some little ones. And again, all of these are in color in the book as well. Okay, uh, like laying down with flowers. There's 26 of them here. This little guy was the one I did for Lee's. It's about an inch and a half tall, maybe. See, there he is. Um, yeah, they're cool. So 22, 20, Mickey Mouse's name, Minnie Mouse's name, signature, the Eeries, you know, it's all good. So then, as I said, you can go to Winnie the Pooh, and Winnie the Pooh is here, Minnie the Pooh and Balloons, there's nine Winnie the Pooh that you can choose. One with the piglets. <laughs> piglets and balloons. I wonder how big that one is. Let's select it. It's saying two colors, a pink and a salmon. And it's saying that it is completed um, about three and a half by three. So about this size, about the same size as this one. Yeah, that's fun. So there you go. Does that make sense? And you can see where I'm saying 3.59 by 3.13 is the size. Yep, there you go. But there you go. So there it is. But as I said, you can also put in whatever you want with USB and the embroidery software. Brother takes PES files. So anything in a PES will uh, automatically go right into the machine and do it, which is cool. So there you be. Fun. It's a fun machine. I'm going to have to play some more and make some projects and put them up on my blog. So I'll have to do that. And I have been very delinquent on that blog lately. So yeah. there's a lot to go on. I know there's been so much. <laughs> But ever since I've been away from uh, at, and at Nashville and back from Nashville doing the catch up, I've been crazy. But anyway, it's all good and we will do it. So I am going to turn off the recording right now and bid you all adieu until next Thursday. I should be here Thursday. Yes. Thursday before the long weekend. Craziness, isn't it? And <laughs> I know something that went over. Anyway, I will be here and we'll do something else, something uh, fun and dandy and whatever else is on my table, we will do with you. So thank you again. And a lot of excuses, whatever. <laughs> thank you again for joining me. Uh, if you're watching the recording, hope to see you live one time soon. But thank you so much for joining me on this and we will see you all in cyberspace.